Welcome everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We want to show you the derivatives of tangent x and cotangent of x if you're beginning to do some derivative rules for trig functions in your calculus. So the derivative of tangent x with respect to x, to work this out we just want to think of tangent x as its quotient identity from trig. So we'll think of this as the derivative with respect to x of, remember tangent of x is sine of x over cosine of x. And one way that we can then do this derivative, now that it's a fraction sine x over cosine x, is that we could use the quotient rule. So we'll use the quotient rule here to do this. So remember, it will be the low function first, so that will be cosine of x, times the derivative of the high function. The derivative of this sine x is cosine x minus, for the quotient rule, now we have the high function sine x times the derivative of the low function, and the derivative of cosine x is going to be negative sine x. So that's our numerator, and now we'll have all of that over the low function squared. So all of that over cosine squared x. Let's go ahead and combine some terms on the top here. So cosine x times cosine x is going to give us cosine squared x for sure. And then here, actually I have minus a negative here, so that's actually going to be plus, and sine x times sine x will give us sine squared x. And we'll go ahead and keep our divided by cosine squared x. Now we could split these up, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at the top here. And if you remember your Pythagorean identities, from trig, you know that cosine squared of something plus sine squared of that same thing is actually 1, right? So we get 1 on the top, and on the bottom we have still cosine squared x. Now this expression that we have here is actually saying that we have the reciprocal of cosine x squared, and we should know also from trig that the reciprocal of cosine is actually secant. So this is actually secant squared x because we have cosine squared x on the bottom. So we now know that the derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. Let's do a similar thing with the derivative for cotangent of x. Remember that cotangent of x as a quotient identity is actually cosine of x over sine of x. It's the reciprocal of tangent. So this would be the same as saying the derivative with respect to x of cosine x over sine x. Let's use our quotient rule again to do this. So low d high minus high d low, right? So we would have low function sine x d high times the derivative of the high function, which would be negative sine x, minus high d low, so minus the high function is cosine x, derivative of the low function is another cosine x, and then we have all over the square of what lies below, so all over what's below is sine x, so we actually have sine squared x on the bottom of this, Let's do some work here. So sine x times negative sine x would be negative sine squared x minus, I have cosine x times cosine x, that's actually cosine squared x. And we'd have all of that still over sine squared x. Now let's go ahead and look at what happens here. Do you notice that it looks like what I had before, except everything is a different sign, right? So this is really like having, if we factor out the negative, maybe think of it like a negative one, I have a negative one times sine squared x plus cosine squared x, all of that, right, as a quantity. And then we would have all of that over sine squared x. So now, what is this sine squared x plus cosine squared x? Well, this, everything in parentheses here is just one again, right? So we get negative one over sine squared x. And now remember, this is like saying the reciprocal of sine x squared. What is the reciprocal of sine x? Well, it's actually cosecant x. So our derivative for cotangent of x is actually negative cosecant squared of x. Good luck on learning and memorizing your trig derivatives. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.